Hey guys, today I'm gonna tell you something that is the deepest thing I probably have ever told you. So pay attention because I'm gonna make a very quick summary. Too deep to get into it. But I'm gonna put a little seed in your brain. To start the seven laws of the universe by Hermes Trismegistus, called the Thrice Greatness. He has been appearing in different timelines. He was in Greek mythologies. He was in Egyptian uh, hieroglyphics. You can see his teachings in different parts of the world when the empires were the biggest using his knowledge. Uh, and I'm going to make you a, a very tiny, tiny fragment of a summary. So the seven laws are, first of all, is the law of mentalism. The universe is mental held in the mind of the all. Don't you see? We create everything, but yet we are a little fragment of a mental creation, a collective mental creation. That's all we are. Everything is created here. The second one is a law of correspondence. As above, so below. As within, so without. Something that I follow all the time. They touch me that. Whatever you do, you can see it outside. You portray it. You are a mirror of everything. Everybody that you see outside, every reaction, every thing that happens to you, you have created it from within. You cannot change nothing from outside. You create it and change it from here. The third one is the law of vibration. In order to change things and create things, you need to vibrate at the same frequency. Otherwise, you're not doing shit. You, if you vibrate in a low stage, in the low frequency, you're going to attract that. See how all these laws are interconnected? You vibrate high, you're going to attract whatever you want. Your mind and your heart are the biggest electromagnetic field to create this electricity that connects to the everything. So feel and believe that you have it, you can obtain everything, that vibration. Then we have the law of polarity. Polarity means everything is the same. It's just a different level of the same spectrum. Everything is the same. We, we, you cannot have love if you don't have no hate because then you will not compare it. You cannot have light if you don't have dark. You need them both. They are all the same thing, just a different degree of the same spectrum. You cannot have, like if you see uh, the thermometer, cold doesn't end for heat to start. They are just the same level of the same spectrum. So if you wanna change one, you should have to change the level. One needs to exist for the other one to continue. That's polarity. Then we have the law of written. Written means that everything is going to end for everything to start. Remember the pendulum? If you put a little ball and put it, and all these little things start causing an effect, and then the other one jumps, that's written. Everything in life continues moving. Nothing is static. Seasons. Fall needs to end for winter to start. Spring needs to end for summer to start. Or whatever it is, they all change. They all change. Empire raises and falls. Waves raise and falls. Everything is in a written life. is a written. Then we have the law of cause and effect, of course. See how everything is interrelated? Every cause has an effect, and every effect has a cause. Coincidence is just a lack of a word for a law not recognized. Everything, because remember, it's like a butterfly effect. It can, the, 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 the cause can be years or even decades or centuries before, but it's going to continue, and you will see the effect decades later that you will never recognize it. That's why people don't recognize that distinction of cause and effect, but it's there. Everything. One little rock that falls down a mountain can cause a fucking hurricane 10 years later. Everything is a cause.
cause and an effect. And the last one is the law of gender. Everything is a gender. And I don't mean it by sexually gender, men or female. I mean it by kind of like, yeah, yeah. Like, like the left brain and the, brain, the right brain. The, the one that is the analytic one and the one that is the spiritual. You need both. We all have both genders. We all need to analyze and take action and we both need to understand and become intuitive. That's the law of gender. If you understand and you can actually harmonize all these laws, God damn it, you own the world. And I'm going to end this video really fast because I went too deep. I need you to understand because because you have the power of the war. That's why. Good night, my friend.